Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do your message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos, okay? So Virgos, before we jump into your reading, I just want to tell you about a dream that I've been having. And I always say that, you know, sometimes I get vivid dreams and I'll be like, okay, you know, I can't really remember what happens in it. And then sometimes when I get a dream and then it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back, it means there's some sort of significance here, okay? So... It was actually a dream about, I was dreaming about lions and I've had a dream about a lion before, but this one was a little bit different. The first dream that I used to have about a lion is this lion used to pounce out and scare me. <laughs> but at the same time, I didn't feel like it um, had any intentions to harm me. It just took me by surprise. But this dream was, it was like my garden was full of lions, male and females. And, and when I say there was a lot of them, I want to say like there was like 15 to 20 pairs of male and female lions. And they were kind of just like rolling around, like strolling around in my garden, just walking up and down. No aggressions, no anger, no nothing like that. You know, they all seem kind of friendly with each other. And then they kind of laid down, you know, and they were rolling around almost like when you see a cat, you know, playing around with a ball or playing around with another kitten you know it kind of reminded me of that so it, it made me want to kind of look up what lion dreams mean so just in case it's significant for someone here what I had found what it says it means it says dreaming of lions can symbolize great strength courage aggression and power it talks about dignity royalty leadership pride and domination it also says the role of power in your daily life such as your love life and your social life it also says a request to bring a level of energy passion and motivation to a project or life aspiration. It talks about inspiration to take action and to begin to manifest the life that you want to truly live. So there goes. With that being said, let's see what your reading is about, okay? All right, Spirit, what do we have for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus? What is the message here today from their ancestors and their angels? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. The sign of Virgo. What is the energy here? All right, Mother Mary. What do we have? So the first card that I'm seeing here, Virgos, it says health. It says my prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. Now, the first thing I heard when I said health, I heard not just physically. This is not just about somebody recovering from some sort of sickness. This could be talking about somebody here who is gaining the strength to get some sort of mental clarity right so let's say you've been in a dark place this is you having the strength to say okay do you know what i'm going to get up tomorrow i'm going to see if i can find a solution to this problem this is about a mental space where someone here is not giving up on life they're not giving up on fighting they're not giving up on happiness they're not giving up on love now this could also talk about healing your financial situations as well here this can talk about healing your heart space. This is really giving me, this is going to be a reading for a Virgo who is 
like I said, not giving up. So going forward, we have the femininity card. And it says, I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. What I'm getting from this card is somebody stepping into that divine energy, divine masculine, divine feminine. This could be talking about my masculines. Maybe you are learning to balance out your masculine and feminine energy, right? I feel like even just my masculines, if I'm speaking to you, this is about you learning to open up your heart space. I'm hearing Venus. So what is this for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Why is it here? I'm hearing a lot of you are letting go of people, places and things that no longer serve you. Yeah, I'm hearing it's time. Yeah, look at that. The chariot. Six of pentacles. For some of you, like I said, there may be some sort of balance coming in when it comes to your finances here. I've been saying to some of my Virgos for a little while now about your businesses improving, your finances, right? Being able to put something away for a rainy day here. Some of you, you're going to be able to take those trips that you want to take. For some of you, I'm hearing, um, what's this word? It begins with an R. Renovating. I'm hearing renovating. So I don't know, maybe you're renovating your home or something like that, or just a room in your home. I'm here in the kitchen, you know. It just feels like an easier, smoother road ahead for some of you. So what is this health for my Virgos? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. What are we getting stuck on? Look at that. The five of pentacles with the ten of fire, which is the ten of wands. No more struggling. It's the end for some of you. Give me a clear message. The sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Two of Pentacles wanting to come in the reverse, but I don't usually take these in the reverse, but we'll see. So it says too much in the upright. It says too much going on at once. It says the, it says the need to make a decision. It says consider a more playful approach. Someone here has made up their mind about something. They're no longer juggling here. Yeah, they're finding the motivation here with the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Or well, someone here could be dealing with a Queen of Wands. Maybe someone here has made up their mind about a marriage here. Or um, I'm also hearing someone here has made up their mind about who they want to be with. But I'm seeing the Four of Fire and the Two of Fire. And that together makes the Six of Wands. So again, for someone here stepping into this energy of confidence here. It says stretch your wings and fly. It says don't underestimate yourself. It says assert your independence and creativity because it's going to bring you success here. It's going to bring you stability. It's going to bring you peace of mind. It talks about abundance, a happy home life. It talks about a successful completion of a project. For those of you who are not giving up, it doesn't matter what area it is in. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Unity card coming out, and it is a number five, and the five does talk about change. It says traditional viewpoints or methods. It says spiritual organizations. It says seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Someone here has been inspired somehow, some way. So I don't know if someone here was maybe struggling between tradition, let's say religion. Someone here may have been struggling in terms of worrying about what other people would have to say. But it feels like someone is now putting that behind them and saying, Do you know what, this is my life. It's almost like I'm the captain of the ship. Right? I decide what I want for me. I decide what I want to do. I decide 
where I want to go. I decide who I want to be with. Leadership. Taking control of your life. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. The chariot. <laughs> Following divine guidance. Listening to your intuition. Paying attention, like I was just saying about the lions, to your dreams, to your visions. What are they trying to tell you? What are they trying to show you? Where are they trying to lead you? It says an important achievement. It says self-discipline and willpower. It says public recognition. So even if some other goes, even if you don't have a business that's in the public eye, you ain't on some sort of stage or you don't have some sort of audience. This is when you step into this energy, the people around you, the people that wanted to keep you stuck, they're going to see this change in you. It's going to be noticeable. It's almost like I'm hearing my ancestors say something like, I think what they're trying to give me is people are going to be able to see that you are favoured. Thank you, spirit. Hmm. Show me more. What do we have for Virgo? There's a message from their ancestors and their angels. Thank you, Spirit. What is this? Look, she's trying to come out. I'm going to take her. She's trying. <laughs> Some of you may have fire highly aspected in your chart. Now, this Queen of Wands is giving me two energies. And I'm not going to dig so much into the negative side of this energy, okay? Because I like the ancestors and angels readings to very much be directed to my Virgos. About your growth. About what it is that you need to know. And not so much about the naysayers and the noises in the background. Do you understand? So Queen of Wands, like I said, we already read it. This is about you being confident. This is about people being able to see that you are favoured. People being able to see that positive or bright aura around you, right? But I'm hearing... While still being humble. Hmm. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, some some of you lots of journeys may have been a struggle. But I feel like you got through this. Or you will get through it. What's behind this five of wands? This three of cups <laughs> and the high priestess. Following your intuition is going to lead you to celebrations. Again, for someone here, you know, wedding may be on the cards for someone, you know, someone here going forward. Maybe you're going to be expecting a child, but there is an energy of happiness here. Some of my Virgos, you may need to go out a little bit more, spend more time out in nature or even just with friends. If you have a good support network. But you are going to have haters. You are going to have people that are going to be in the energy of jealousy and envy. Show me more. What is this femininity card for my Virgos? What are we getting stuck on? Page of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Spirit is telling some of you that now is the time to start something. Some of you, you know, the Three of Fire can talk about waiting for your ships to come in. So for some of you, there is some sort of finances coming towards you here. Some of you, you're, like I said, you're wanting to start something, whether this is learning something new, whether this is, like I said, opening up your own business or working on some sort of creative project here. Spirit is saying the time is now. I'm hearing push through the fear. I'm also hearing practice makes perfect. So, I'm 
Okay, there's a lot of cards trying to come out there. Give me a clear message. Thank you, Spirit. What is this femininity card? Yeah, that was actually the ego card. So you see, like I said, for someone here, it's like you're putting that ego and pride behind you here. And maybe tapping in a little bit more into your feminine energy, which is tapping into that energy, to me, of love. The star card, healing, the dreamer. Yeah. Okay. Show me what this is. Thank you, Spirit. For my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node of Venus. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just going to take the ones that are flipping over, okay? Because you got the three of pentacles with the magician. You have the... <laughs> Let them know, Spirit. You have the power. You have everything that you need to create those dreams here. The Three of Pentacles says the power of creativity. It says recognition for high quality work. It says be a team player. And then you have the magician. It says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. It says life is magical. But for who believes? We have the eight of wands. This talks about something moving forward very quickly for some of you here. It's almost like I'm hearing for someone here from rags to riches. Now that could just be a metaphor, okay? But you get the idea. It says events moving at a fast pace. It says delays are over. It says many things happening at once. It feels like a complete turnaround for someone here. And we have the Ace of Water at the bottom of the deck with a King of Fire and the Ten of Water. Some of you may be going into a relationship here with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. doesn't necessarily have to be. This could just be someone who is already very confident. Someone who has the motivation, they are very focused maybe on you here, Virgos, okay? But this feels like someone who is going after what they desire. Page of Air, I feel like this is someone that may be watching you, but enough about the other people. So coming out here though, we have the Seven of Air. Now, the seven of air in this deck can talk about a lot going on in the mental space. Almost that energy of you deceiving yourself. And when I say like deceiving yourself, it would be like when you have thoughts like, let's say, um, I don't know, you want to do something. But yet in your head, you keep saying to yourself, I'm never going to achieve that. I'm never going to be good enough for this. I'm never going to be good enough for that. That is what it feels like, this Seven of Swords energy. It says plans that need revision. It says more going on than meets the eye. And it says poor timing. Now, this is going to sit underneath the Magician energy. Now, Virgos, I'm going to clarify those cards, but I really hope there isn't any Virgos in here that may be practicing some sort of negative magic or maybe doing something on purpose to manipulate a situation or a person. Just doesn't feel like it's a good time. I mean, it's never a good time. Clarify these two cards, the Magician and the Seven of Swords, especially if it's towards a feminine energy. Yeah, look at that. Two of Swords fell out. This talks about, number one, something being blocked. But this also talks about someone in their head <clears throat> about being in a stalemate situation. The Two of Swords can talk about somebody being at a crossroads. Now, if I had to add the Two of Swords to the Seven of Swords, it would very much make the Nine of Swords, which talks about anxiety, stress and worry, sleepless nights. It says being unable or unwilling to make a decision. A stalemate. It says pretending there is no problem. So what is this two of swords about, spirit? 
Why is that here from other girls? The Ten of Pentacles. So does this have to do with finances? Does this have to do with family? I'm also getting this energy here where someone here may feel like they are missing out on a happy family situation or they're feeling like, you know, maybe they could be happy somewhere else. It says a very happy family life. It says financial security, finding magic in the little things. So again, for some of you, it could just be about your stability here, okay? Give me one more, Spirit. Two of air and the ten of pentacles for Virgos. Damn, look at that. <laughs> someone here is watching someone here. Or well, they're very curious about something. It's that energy I'm hearing. I'm hearing, I wonder. Ten of Cups. Again, an energy of a contented and rewarded family life. It says your emotional and material needs are met. It says trustworthy relationships. So this could be spirit saying to someone, hey, you need to take that leap of faith. We see that you may be worried about finances, however that fits in, but trust us that we will take care of this situation. Trust us that we will take care of you. Now, the page of air says challenging information. It says delays or changes to plans. It says truth delivered without tact. Maybe someone here is afraid of communicating with somebody. Maybe someone has some sort of truth to tell someone, but, you know, it's again, it's about that energy of finding the courage. This page of air is also making me feel like just be your authentic self. All right, spirit. What else do we have for my Virgos? What is the message here from their ancestors and their angels? Show me. All Virgo need to know. Thank you, Spirit. And one more. Thank you. So the first one that I'm seeing here, Virgos, is it says use loving strength and discernment. It says I am not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. This makes me feel like someone here needs to follow some sort of calling. So this would be someone who you've been getting the signs, you've been getting the synchronicities, but yet you still doubt what the Most High is trying to show you. I'm also hearing, and what is required of you. You have leave a trail of love as you walk the earth. This makes me feel like an earth angel. It says, O oh Lord, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. I can't help but to notice the moon in the background. You have, coming in the reverse, by the way. It says, acknowledge God's truth. So again, this is someone who, I don't know if you, you just doubt. I don't know if you're just not a believer. I don't know if you are one of those people where you got to see it to believe it first. But it says, acknowledge God's truth. It says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Spirit, where should Virgo's focus be at this time? Where should their focus be?
the sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. You have assertiveness at the bottom of the deck. But the cards that came out, it says focus on service. It says your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So you put out the energy that you want to receive here. And you know, when you think of Virgo, Virgo kind of is the sign of service here. That is why I think I've said this before, you will find that a lot of Virgos are like nurses or carers. And, you know, you may find that Virgos have a lot of children and things like that. Virgos are always very much willing to help. But, you know, be careful because sometimes in that energy, you know, sometimes we forget to think about ourselves. You have life purpose. It says the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. It says don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. Show me a little bit about going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Sign of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. Show my Virgos a little bit about going forward. What is the energy here? Show me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You have contract turning over here. This reminds me of the Justice card. So like I said, some of you have some sort of purpose on this earth plane and you would have signed some sort of contract before even being born, before even being created as a seed. We have a daughter romance, okay? Yeah, I feel like for some of you, I don't know, I'm picking up heavy marriage here. Not heavy, but you could be definitely going into some sort of commitment here. Or the daughter romance is very much open to you. And with that kind of justice energy, it's because you deserve it here. For some of you as well, with the scales being very balanced on this card, it's going to tell me that it's going to be a relationship that is going to be not one that only, I was going to say one that gives, right? That equal give and take. And then we have all tied up. Why is all tied up here, spirit? Because there is no chains binding this woman here. So let me see what this is. Uh, so it must have something to do with your... It must have something to do with your seventh chakra. Again, this card is a number 41, which boils down to a five. So again, someone who is very much struggling with change. What is the seventh? Well, it has to do with your intuition. It has to do with your crown chakra. So again, someone here may be, what, came, what card came out in the reverse? Acknowledge God's truth. Okay, doubting yourself, doubting the visions, doubting the signs here. Maybe someone here needs to cleanse. Maybe, I don't know, you should get some crystals if you believe in that sort of stuff to help you kind of align yourself. Bottom of the deck, we have a woman holding a heart. And then we have anxiety and the angel of strength. Uh, yeah, for some of you, this is to do with love. Okay, so 
Let's get a few more cards and then I'm going to end out this reading, Virgos. Give me two cards for my Virgos going forward. Thank you, Spirit. What do they need to know? The Virgo. Too many. Just give me two more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says flowers. It was almost sideways. I feel like for some of you, you're coming into some sort of twin flame connection here. There may have been delays in this with the number 11 here. But it says, be generous. It says, success and emotional fulfillment are yours. You have the plane. It says, a journey is indicated, either physically or metaphorically. It says, your life will become more full. And then we have the world coming out here. It says, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. I see someone traveling here. I see someone traveling to a hot country. Or traveling in the springtime. So this could be next year. Maybe some of you have booked a holiday for next spring. Okay, Archangel Michael, what do you have for my Virgos? Thank you. So the first one I'm seeing here is a number 17, which boils down to an eight. And we already have the eight of fire out here. Moving forward, it says your hard work is paying off. Oh, no, it doesn't. But I said it. I don't know where I saw that. <laughs> Completely not on the card. <laughs> it says you're working too hard. And worrying about everything. It says seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. So maybe some of you are working hard. And you know your hard work is paying off to the point where you are going to be able to take a step back and relax some of you. Have some fun. Coming out sideways we have the way forward is open. But you see how it came out sideways. Now it is a number 32 and that boils down to a 5. Okay. So we've seen five a few times here. The energy of change. Someone here is fearful. It says the way forward is open. Look at this. Where is it? Did I put it back? Where did she go? All tied up, right? That's what we had, right? And that was also a number five. Boils down to a five. 23. It says... You're not trapped. It says possibilities and opportunities abound. It says I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. I mean, I feel like there's a real powerful message here. But, you know, it, if someone is so trapped in their head and so very much focused on more negative things or just seeing the glass as half empty rather than half full, it's this is going to be words that are falling on deaf ears. In one ear, out the other. Thank you, bird. So, let's end this reading. Thank you, spirit. I want to get a card from here, actually, going forward. And then we'll end with Archangel Michael, a prayer. Anything for my Virgos going forward. It says improving health. So that's twice that you have health coming out here. You have, okay, let's take them. We have listen to your intuition. And then we have compromise. And see those scales again, balancing the scales, doing the right thing. Balancing out your life. I'm hearing everything is in moderation. 
So end this reading for me. Thank you, Archangel Michael. The sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, north node or Venus. How do you want to end this reading? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Give me one more. You do have your home is protected by angels and you do have spent more time outdoors. Here, Virgos, I'm seeing. Anything else, Archangel Michael? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, you have honour and trust your feelings. So the first one that I'm seeing coming out sideways, some of you need to laugh a bit more. You, you really do need to. It's time to play. It says sense of humor. It says, thank you for helping me to see the humor in the situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experiences in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So, I mean, it kind of makes me feel like it's saying that, do you know what? Some of these tough times or difficult situations that you have been through with people, people that try to get you down, get you out, you know, whatever, right? Spirit is saying that, do you know what? You're going to be able to look back and laugh. Like I said in one of the other videos, you know, some of Virgo, sometimes you have to look back to the past and say, thank you. You have coming out, it says, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. Oh, we're getting told off. <laughs> it says, thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal accordingly to divine's will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. Oh, that sounds like someone was getting told off. You made a mess. Spirit says, well, you don't have to clean it up, but you can do it in a loving way. Okay, so Virgos, that is what I have for you today. If anything in the reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.